What it do, y'all? This your boy Chris, man. Back with my review of my 2015 Mustang GT Premium Edition. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop right into this video. Uh, as y'all see, it's a little dark. I had to wait because it was, it was pretty hot today. So I had to let it cool down a little bit. So we gonna get this review started. Uh, so as y'all see, I went with the competition orange and I'm not gonna lie, it's a dope car, man. Um, I like what they did with the 2015. So this is a new body style, the sixth generation. Man, I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm really feeling it. At first, when these first came out, I really was not rocking with it. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. Uh, but they did grow on me. And so, first of all, we're gonna start with the front end. And as y'all know, they changed the headlights on these, on this model. So I do like the three stripes here and the projector style headlight dope little addition they did right there you got your fog lights down here look really good at night and then the grill um, this grill is a little bit different on the GTs and they are on the EcoBoost and the V6 version um, so y'all can check that out on another video uh, but then you got the hood here with the actual functional hood vents on it I know a lot of hoods and stuff like this sometimes they have just like the hood the little hood scoops but these are actually functional hood scoops on here or functional hood vents on here so you got that there i like how they got the hood a little bit raised on here not quite a cow hood but you know i like the lines on it so moving right along you see the body lines on here you got the 5.0 badge and then i'm gonna stop right here and look at the and take a look at the wheel so on these they come stock with the um the 19 shit, what is it i can't even see Hold on, y'all. All right, so on the wheels, they come stock with the 255, 45, 19s on there. Um, as you see, this one has got the, like the machine, silver, gunmetal, whatever you want to call it, color on the wheels. Uh, and this one does not have the Brembo brakes on it. Still a pretty good size uh, brake caliper on there, but it just ain't the Brembo, but it's all good. Um, so uh, moving right along, you know, the thing about it, I'm gonna be honest about the tires and and this is my thing i guess with all the new sports cars y'all gonna have to stop putting them little bitty tires and, and stuff on these cars bro like you putting all these all this power in these cars and then you can't never stick it to the ground because the tires is this little you know what i'm saying so i'm gonna need ford dodge chevy all y'all to change that um i got a big problem with that y'all i mean i don't care if you even put it into the price of the car make the car more expensive but just give us some bigger tire stock because otherwise you slipping and sliding everywhere. So we got the new tail lights on here. You had a blinker on, they do the sequential. So you had a one, two, three, and I'll put a clip in here so y'all can see that. You got the GT badge back here. Um, and then got the reverse light down here. Normally on certain cars, you have it up top, but on the new Mustangs, you got them down here. So you got your, um, your pipes. And then you got the color match diffuser. I'll probably change that because, I mean, I like darker looking diffusers, but it's cool. I understand what they was trying to do. So trunk space. It's got pretty good trunk space in here. I can't lie, for a car this size, um, you can put pretty much a good amount of luggage in here if you try to, you know, if you had to go like on a overnight trip or even if you plan on going somewhere for a few days, it got a nice little amount of space in there. Now, this wing, they could have really kept the wing because y'all see how little it is, like, that wing is small, bro, but it is what it is. It give it a nice little touch, I guess. Uh, beggars can't be choosers. Another thing, the mirrors, they are really small. Um, I feel like they could have went a little bit large on the mirrors, just to kind of help with blind spots and stuff like that. But it's cool. Overall, you know, it's a dope vehicle. You got the side skirts down there. One thing I do like at nighttime, when you open up the doors, you will have the pony symbol. You can't really see it right now, but I will get a clip of that in there so y'all can see but you can kind of see it move a little bit right now. Uh, I'll show y'all that in a little bit. It's, it's just got its own little taste, its own little swag, own little drip to it. So uh, what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna go ahead and pop the hood so y'all can see under the hood real quick. All right, so under the hood, y'all see we got that beefed up 5.0 Coyote motor sitting pretty. One thing I really do like about these motors, um, you can pretty mod the hell out of them, you know what I'm saying? So I, I'm glad, I'm really happy with what they did with these uh, when it comes to any power mods, uh, boost stuff like that, superchargers, prochargers, turbochargers, whatever kind of charge you want to do. Um, you know, it can take it pretty good, just stock. So you got your stock cold air intake right there, your fluids, all that good stuff, battery, all the normal stuff of under the hood. 
Um, but like I said, that's my best. That's my favorite part. It's the first time I ever driven it. Uh, I had a Coyote motor or a Coyote engine. Looking at 435 horsepower and 400 pound foot of torque. So, um, yeah, dope vehicle, man. Not too much to look at right now, but I will say this. How y'all see this car right now? It will not be like this a few months from now. I plan on touching almost everything on this car. So it's gonna look totally different when I'm done with it. Um, so y'all stay tuned for that. All right, so here's the key file to the car. Um, it is a manual that I have, so nothing too special on here because I mean, is it, if it'll focus, there we go. Um, so you got the lock, you got the unlock, the trunk button and the panic button. They don't have automatic start because like I said, it is a manual that'll be kind of hard to do. Uh, and then you got the pony on the the pony symbol on the other side. So pretty dope key All right, y'all. So we in a, we're on the inside now So I'm gonna just kind of go over some of the interior features with this a little bit different than the, the base uh, with the premium uh, So first off I did go with the black leather seats this time Most cars that I get when it comes to sports cars at least I try to go with the red interior But these leather seats really good on here uh, it just makes it look real luxury up in here. So uh, that's the reason why I went with that uh, with that particular color um, So you got your badge here and Here's your your air vents up here Gauges right here. So the overall quality of the interior for me uh, They did really good with this car. I mean everything up here. It feels like you know, it's got that leather look to it It's a hard plastic down here but it looks like leather they got the chrome right here and then the uh, i guess you can say the steel aluminum metal zip man whatever it is y'all get the point i like the little touches they did as far as the interior you got up here uh this look here and then and one thing i do love about mustangs is that no matter what model you go with on this car it's always something you can do to mod it so if i don't like this up here change it to a different color um i can make it carbon fiber i can make it black I can make it a dark gray whatever you want you can pretty much touch and customize everything in this car and so let's kind of go over the uh entertainment system so when i turn this button on it's push to start you'll see the horse come on you got four uh points on here you got your phone your navigation all your music stuff down to the bottom left and your climate control uh they do got dual climate control on this on this car so you know the left and the right side driving passenger side y'all can have two totally different uh temperatures going uh you do got the heated which i wouldn't use right now and your cool seats all your other air condition controls down there one of my favorite parts of the interior right here is the knobs you got your hazard button right here you got your traction control you got your steering modes and then your drive modes right here just give it like a real dope vibe a real dope look inside the car I almost make it feel like a cockpit up in here so um definitely like the touches they did with that i'm gonna go over these drive modes in a minute one thing about the shifter that they did change uh from what you probably used to on some of the older mustangs um or at least I didn't have on my older Mustang. I used to have a 07. So I'm used to having reverse at the top right or the top left, but on these it's to the top or the top right or the bottom right, my bad. Uh, players fuck up too. Um, but they got the reverse on the top left over here. And so when I first got in and I tried to put it over there and it wasn't going nowhere, but it was actually going into one. So what you gotta do is, you got this little lever right here, you push it up. So it takes a minute to get used to, no matter how you wanna grab it, whatever, it don't matter. Uh, but when you pull it up and then push it all the way, that's how you get access to reverse. So it keep you from kind of bumping into it on accident. So I do like that feature. After you get used to it, it is pretty cool to have. With the gauges up here, you got the different modes. So I'm gonna try to zoom in a little bit closer so y'all can see that. So let me back out. Uh, so you got gauge mode. It's gonna have all your different gauges, cylinder head, uh, oil pressure, oil temp voltage, all that good stuff. You got your distance to empty right there. You got the trip and fuel, all that good stuff down there. Um, they say these can get, I think like, what is it like 23, 22, 23, something like that on the highway. And then about 16, I believe 16 to 17 uh, in the city. As y'all see, mine is saying 15.3 and I reset it yesterday because I haven't reset it since I bought the car. As y'all see, I got 11,000 miles. I bought it with like 10.5 on it. Um, 
but it kept saying 13 and i was like all right well let me try to do it myself and see what kind of gas mileage i get so within the last day i got it down to 15 or got it up i should say to 15.3 but before i reset it it was looking like i think it was like 13.3 so now here's the thing you ain't buying these type of cars and y'all see the broncos on my hat yeah i don't know if we're gonna play this year but it is what it is but anyway uh you ain't buying these cars for the gas mileage. You buying these cars for two reasons. To look good and you trying to drive fast. Period, point blank. Like you ain't buying it because it's a Prius or it's a Corolla or nothing like that. I ain't dissing no shots none to Toyota because they good cars, but you're not buying these cars for the gas mileage. You buying them for the fun, for the look, for the speed and all that. So um, I ain't really tripping on the gas mileage. I did want to just see if I can get it a little bit better. And I do run 93 on mine right now. Eventually I probably will swap it over to E85. That's the goal, that's the plan. But uh, yeah, no biggie, I ain't really tripping. The gas tank is smaller in here though from the other Mustangs I've driven. Um, I drive my car maybe, maybe twice a week and I fill up once a week. So that tells you a lot right there. Um, they didn't put a lot in the tank. I think it took me the other day with gas at like 250. Um, it took me like $35 to fill up. My old things, yeah, they would probably take me 40, 45 to fill up on 93, but they did last a little bit longer, so I will say that. Uh, but anyway, and like I said, it's nothing to trip about. Um, if if I did, if I wanted a gas saver, I would have bought a gas saver. So I tell y'all to do the same thing. So let me go back on here for the focus in. All right, so we got the track apps. So if you want to take it to the track or you just want to mess around with that accelerometer acceleration timer brake performance line lock line control line lock if you're trying to do you know some crazy burnout stuff like that that ain't too much my speed but you know you can do it here and there launch control sorry y'all if it ain't focusing i'm trying to get it but i'll just read it off to y'all there we go uh you got your launch control there and then you got your where you can clear the results and stuff from that driver assist we got the auto engine off, heel start aid, which if you know if you knew to driving a stick, that'd be something that you probably want to use. And then your rear park aid. I leave mine on just because why not? I ain't tripping. My ego ain't that big to turn it off if, I, if it's something they put in the car. They put it in there for a reason, so I'm gonna use it. So, um, yeah. So you can look at all this stuff, bro. Like, and it's got a bunch of different modes. I ain't gonna try to go to do everything. Uh, with these gauges, you can customize the color. So if I go to my color, I can actually choose a color that they have as far as the ambient lighting and stuff like that. Or I can go create my own color. So you got three three different ones you can change to make your own color or you can go through. I'm going with orange just because that's the color of my car right now. But when I change the color of the car, when I wrap it, I can either make my own color or change it to what I want. So y'all can see that there. And if you see down there in the floorboard, it's orange. And where the door jam is, it's orange too. So pretty dope there. Uh, my key display set up all that stuff. So I ain't gonna bore y'all with that. Um, I will say that, and I'm sweating because it's a little hot, so don't mind under that. Um, it's a little small to me. It feels a little bit smaller in the inside of the car from other Mustangs. Uh, I know they said the car, like the actual body of it is a little bit wider and it does look a little bit longer, but it feels smaller on the inside if that makes sense. But I'm not tripping because one thing about this car, it does feel like a luxury muscle car. Uh, and I can't say that about the other cars I've driven. I've had, this will be my fourth Mustang I've had. I've had a Challenger, which I love. I'm, one day I'll probably get another one. Um, but it's a comfortable car. It's a comfortable ride. The seats are bolstered up. Uh, whenever I'm turning, I'm going around curves, stuff like that. The seats keep me in. Uh, one thing about me, I love technology in cars. So the tech, the tech that's in this car, I can't complain about. I don't really have no complaints when it comes to the interior. I really don't. Um, the back seat is not that great as far as the size. I mean, you, you, if you, unless it's a baby or something like that, you're not gonna get too many people back there. But again, I didn't buy this car for a family car, so. That's one thing. As long as you realize that you cool with that, you good. So this car does got pretty good amount of leg room. So even on the passenger side, uh, I got my seat over there all the way back. My wife, she riding over here. She's pregnant. So, you know, she's trying to be extra comfortable. So uh, it's got plenty of leg room over there for somebody that's tall or short. And then even with me, you know, over here driving a stick, you want to be up a little bit closer just because you got to put your foot all the way down on the clutch. But I'm still comfortable in here um, with my seat back. And stuff like that so i got no complaints there 
feels like a luxury sports car, a luxury muscle car. If that's what you're looking for, this is probably the car you want to look into. Real quick, I'm going to let y'all actually hear. Um, I'm going to let y'all actually hear the exhaust. So yeah, y'all, y'all got to hear the exhaust. To me, I mean, it sounds like a stock exhaust. It, well, I'll be honest, it sounds a little bit quieter with it than what I'm used to. But again, the thing about these cars, I can mod that, I can change that. So I'm not gonna, you know, <laughs> moan about it. Um, it can be louder, but it is what it is. You know, I'm gonna probably leave it like that for a minute. I know ex what exactly what kind of exhaust I'm gonna do on it. Y'all stay tuned for that. I'm not gonna tell y'all and give that away to y'all right now. Uh, but it's gonna sound crazy when I get done with it. So um, that's the exhaust. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna hop in and kind of give y'all a drive review, let you know how is it feels on the inside, uh, some of the drive modes I told y'all about, and just my overall opinion with everything else. We're gonna wrap this thing up, y'all. So how does it feel to drive my Mustang GT? Like I said in the other uh, part of the video, earlier in the video, this car feels like a luxury muscle car. That's the best way to describe it. So when I'm, you know, when you're trying to get in and out of the gears, you're trying to rev it and all that stuff, you're trying to get to where you got to go, um, you feel that power, you feel that muscle like most Mustangs, you know, but it does have a tightness. It's got a it just got a certain luxury feel about it. Uh, it's not like, it don't feel like traditional Mustangs. I can say that when you're driving it. And I don't know if it's just the way that the interior makes you feel or um, or what. Uh, now, I know that independent rear suspension that they added on this model, I know that plays a really big part into it. When you're going around curves, um, you know, making sharp turns, stuff like that, old Mustangs, you would feel like, it, you know, if, unless you know how to drive, it feel like you about to lose control. But with these right here, it almost feel like one, you know, some type of European car, M3, or, you know, I don't go as far as say it feel like a GTR or nothing like that. I ain't never drove one personally myself, but I know they get, you know, because they all wanna drive, it feels like, you know, you can take any turn with no problem going at a high rate of speed. But with these, it feel like you can do that. I'm gonna be honest. I done hit a couple turns that I normally would not have hitting, you know, 30, 40 miles an hour and went through it okay. Um, so that's definitely something that I love about this car is that, you know, although it is fast, it can handle a lot better. So shout out to Ford. Y'all did y'all thing with that. On the clutch, uh, with it being a manual, you know, I, I've driven cars that's got heavy clutches. This car, the clutch is super soft. Uh, every time, you know, I'm going down, breaking it down the gear and I'm, you know, I'm talking to y'all, so I'm not going to be driving like I normally drive all the time, but, um, it's got a super soft clutch. My Challenger, which is the car I had before this, I had a Scat Pack Challenger. My um, my clutch, it was still smooth, don't get me wrong, but it was a little bit tougher. But this one, it is softer, so if you're used to driving a manual, you're good, you know what I'm saying? But, and I know a lot of people say you can take the spring out of the clutch and stuff like that to make it, you know, a little, make it even better. I don't know if I'll do that eventually. I might, I don't know. Uh, but for right now, I'm cool with how it is. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. Let me switch that light. Y'all can see, yeah. Yeah, I, I may keep the, the clutch spring in there. Um, or being whatever that thing called. Um, but I love, I mean, the, the, the shifter. Um, I may not even change this out because I love the throw that's on the shifter. Uh, I can get it in and out of gear. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, when it comes to driving manual, I don't have this problem, but some people, you know, they drive it fast, hitting it hard, they have a problem with getting in and out of third gear. So, okay, they get in any gear, really. Uh, I've seen people when it comes to racing this gear. The way this gearbox is made, they, you know, to me, I feel like it kind of cut all that out. Um, I haven't missed a gear whether I'm driving fast or not since I had this car. And I hit it pretty hard because I want to test it, you know what I'm saying? Uh, again, I ain't buy this car not to go fast. Now, I will say um, the exhaust. 
on the inside, you don't really hear it like that unless you like smashing. But again, like I told y'all, it's stock, so you ain't gonna hear it too much anyway. Um, just because basically, I mean, they, they did do a good job of dampening the sound in, on the inside. Um, but you know, once you go a certain exhaust, when it get to a certain point, it don't matter, it don't matter how much you done dampen the sound, you're gonna hear that motherfucker in the side of the car. So um, the drone is cool. Um, you know, I could probably, as it is right now, I could probably go on a road trip and be fine. Um, one thing I forgot to talk about was when I was going over interiors, the shaker sound system. So, um, for they, you know, they talk about that being the premier uh, sound system. Uh, I feel like it could be a little bit better, me personally, but, you know, again, it's, it, it's nothing about this car I can't change that I don't like. As far as like the blind spots on this car, uh, you can pretty much see around it pretty good uh, from all angles. Um, it's got a minor blind spot just with this this back window the way that it curves But the mirrors pick it up pretty good. The rear view is actually smaller than what I expected um, I ain't gonna lie to y'all on that um, The rear view mirror is real the, at least for the, the visibility of it. it's real. It's real small, but What do you expect when you get in a car, you know this size it's not gonna have a big ass projector screen rear view mirror back there uh rear view glass back there so now what i'm gonna do man i'm gonna give y'all a few pulls just kind of you know show y'all with the reaction time of the car and just kind of how it feels to hit it so like i showed y'all earlier this car my car um this is not the performance pack so i don't have a brembo brakes on it but they still got pretty good size brakes on the car and so um you know when i'm hitting it when i'm smashing it if I need to slow down, it's gonna slow down. It's gonna sit my ass down real quick. I don't have no problem stopping. Um, I will say that's one thing I do like or love about having manuals is you know when I need to get in and out of traffic, when I need to slow down, kill the power, stuff like that. That's the cool thing about having a clutch, you know, having a manual in a clutch. Um, because when I throw it in neutral, if I put that clutch all the way down, I mean, um, I got control and it killed it, it disengages everything. So we'll give y'all a few pulls on the highway real quick. We can actually get on here. This motherfucker's so fast, dog, and this shit is stopped. This shit is stopped. Stop, bro. Stop everything. Hey, there's nothing to it. It's not the biggest. But this motherfucker is scoop. Like, if you need it to, it's, it's gonna scoop. And like I said, with it being stopped, I can only imagine once I start to mod this shit to it, what it's gonna be like then. So, yeah, I, I, I'm really impressed with Coyote. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna fill down. Let me break this one down. As y'all know, with the Coyotes, they can rev to 7,000. This shit is amazing, bro. Watch this shit. Bit better, don't get me wrong, but for the most part, that shit is instant. Going around the curve, no problem. It's sitting down. I don't feel unconfident in the car going around curves at all. I mean, I'm speeding up as I'm hitting the curve. Real quick, I'm gonna go over the different drive modes and steering modes. So, as far as steering wheel, I got it in comfort now. Normally, I drive with it on sport. Uh, Sport mode is what I've been preferring to drive on just because it gives it that, that, it gives it that like that rough, uh, that rough steering that you used to on like the older Mustangs uh, before this model. Uh, the normal mode, I ain't really rocking with that at all because one thing about it, I do, like I said, I love the independent rear suspension, but every time I hit a bump, a pothole, or something like that, the car rocket, and it's, well, I ain't gonna say the car rocket. The steering wheel is rocking, and it make me it make it a little hard to trust, you know, when you're going to certain speed. So I kind of leave mine on sport, so sport or comfort. I, I've been riding with comfort today, and like I can say I do like that. Now that pull I just did, I didn't have it on a different drive mode. I actually had that in the normal drive mode, but you do got four drive modes. So you got normal, you 
got Sport Plus, you got Track, and then you got Snow Slash Wet. Um, where I'm at, you know, we get rain here and there, but we ain't got to worry about too much snow. And honestly, I'm not driving this car in the snow ever. Like, that's never happening. I don't care what kind of tires I got on it. It's just, nah, I'm not taking that risk. And, but yeah, the Sport Mode, you do notice a difference. I ain't gonna lie. Like with that pull I did, matter of fact, let's do another one. I got my radar on, so let's see. y'all to get a feel for it. Y'all see me sweating, so, you know, it is what it is. It's hot today. It's 8.30 where I'm at right now, and it's 91 degrees still, so, you know, be waiting to later to, to this night to do the video. Later tonight to do the video didn't really help too much, but it is what it is. Um, y'all gotta get done, so, that's pretty much it, man. I don't got too much else to talk about. Uh, like I said, all in all, I'm completely satisfied with, with, with buying this car. Uh, you know, if you in the market, you thinking about um, pulling the trigger on one of these, do it. Do it. I got no complaints for the most part. You know, I probably will do a video talking about my top five things that I love and the top five things that I don't like. But for the most part, I love it. You know, it's not going to make me want to take the car back. It's not making me regret my purchase at the end of the day. Uh, you know, I recommend it. If you're in the market to get a 15, 16, 17 model, yeah, I highly, I highly recommend, you know, if y'all thinking about getting this car, go ahead and pull the trigger, bro. All right, y'all. So just like that, you know, this video is over with. Y'all got to, you know, really see um, how I feel about the car. Um, you know, going over to some of the features and stuff like that. Um, like I said, everything on here is stock right now. So just wait till y'all see when this car is done. Because I promise you, the ideas that I got, um, I'm partnered with a, with a rap company. You know what I'm saying? We, when we throw the rap on, uh, I got a few ideas. But I know they're going to be able to bring it to life as far as everything else that I'm doing. But y'all stay tuned. You know, because I, 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 I truly believe, and I said this to a few people, that this is going to be one of the hardest Mustangs in the South. I ain't gonna say in the country because that may be, you know, that may be, some people may feel some kind of way, may think that's an exaggeration, but we're gonna go with the South for now. Um, it's gonna be cold blooded, bro. So y'all definitely stay locked in, stay tuned in. Um, if y'all got any, you know, anything that y'all wanna see on this channel, uh, I'm definitely open to it. So y'all definitely drop that in the comments below. Uh, make sure y'all like, share, subscribe, uh, comment. Um, make sure you follow Instagram. That's going to be in the comments on, in the description below. Make sure y'all follow the Snapchat. The Twitch channel is coming, so y'all definitely go ahead and subscribe to that. Um, and I got a Facebook. I'm not really going to be on the Facebook like that, maybe. It just depends. Uh, but y'all follow all the socials, you know what I'm saying, so you can stay um, stay locked in and stay, you know, up to date on what's going on. And uh, yeah, man, I'm excited for the journey. So you know, it's just it's just number one right here. So we got plenty of more content coming. Um, I plan on trying to upload maybe two, three times a week um, until you know we go full time with this. But um, I'm excited, bro. So um, yeah, I appreciate y'all tuning in. Till next time, Chris out. Y'all stay cruising with me. I catch y'all later.